Hey, welcome back to the CB Show. I'm Chris. I'm Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Uh, another week. Hey, before we get started, you know, we get, uh, <laughs> you know, we get all this fanfare from the CB Show. Oh, it, it, it's another, oh, there's a bomb. <laughs> there is, right? Yeah. And now we're even on Facebook. Uh, Facebook, yeah. That's, that's a huge, huge yeah. step. Yeah, big, big step for us. So, you know, there's always that person behind the scenes, right? And so I, I don't think we've ever given him a shout out yet. And I think he truly deserves it. He puts this whole thing together, edits it, and gets late it out. Nights. Late nights. Late nights. There's a lot of work that goes in. Anyway, uh, Ben Klein. Ben, if you give a little shout out, let everybody know you're here, that you're sitting here watching. Hey. Hey. There, <laughs> there he is. He's not much for words, but hey, he well, does know There's a reason he's finished playing a few things, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thanks to Ben. You know, one thing I, I'm going to give the say on the show, Ben uh, got a CDL. And, he did, uh, yeah. You know, Works hard for a couple of years out. Yeah. Yeah. Now he drives on, the, on his off time. And how, it's helped us out on Jam. So, again, he's not only just a safety supervisor, he's production, he's TV show. He's also <laughs> he helps us out yeah, on Jam. Yeah, absolutely. And drive, yeah. absolutely. So, you know, <clears throat> last week we started at New segment, the who's who watching who's down, who, right? right? And so, uh, you know, we, we want to build off that. Where, where'd you go this week? You just... Well, you know, I, I there's still a few new faces in the shop, and I felt like we still wanted to get out there to people. So I uh, started off interviewing Matt. Okay. Uh, Matt will be our uh, second shift uh, supervisor here. And uh, so here's a little bit about Matt. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm over at the shop again here with Matt. He will... Uh, Eventually, here in the future, be our second shift breakdown guy that uh, you guys would be calling in, talking to. So, Matt, why don't you take a couple of seconds here, uh, explain what you're looking for from the drivers in the call in, and uh, just kind of a quick overview of what will make everything easy on everybody involved. Sure. My name is Matt. Um, I'm currently on first shift right now, but I'll be moving to second shift uh, breakdown coordinator. Um, that's about from 5 p.m. till 1.30 a.m., so it's a little bit different. But uh, I'll be dealing with mainly the drivers. They're calling in. You know, they have repairs on the road. And my job is to help them get those, get those repairs fixed, facilitate with the different vendors we have, and making sure that the drivers communicate well with us so we can get them back on the road, you know, safe and more efficiently. So, and one thing I do, you know, when I do join second shift, I want to make sure and ensure that the drivers speak to us and they know exactly what's broken down in their truck so that we can you know, relay that over to the shop on the road or whatever shop it is um, and make sure that the repairs are done. So, Perfect. And Matt, why don't you tell us real quick a little bit about what you like to do for hobbies and stuff outside of work when you're not, you know, here in the nitty gritty stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't really do too much. Um, however, I do love to travel. I've been to like 15 countries in the past like five years. So that's like my passion. I have a travel blog that I update like all the time. Um, I work out quite frequently. Um, that's pretty much it. So, <laughs> well, that sounds rather interesting and fun to be honest with you. So, anytime you need a partner to travel, let me know. Maybe I'll hit up some countries with you. Um, really, and really, just generally, and all in all, what brought you here? How did like how did you find Watson Town? What made you have the passion to come work in the trucking industry and something like that, or did you just happen to stumble upon a position here? Yeah, so I moved from Seattle actually back like two months ago. Um, I was looking for a job. Obviously, I need to pay bills and whatnot. So. I actually stumbled upon this job on Craigslist. So um, there was an ad there. I thought it'd be a great fit. So I applied and got a call. And here I am today. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome aboard. And I hope everything goes smooth. I mean, it seems like you're making a good fit right now in the shop. So again, uh, this is Matt from the shop. He'll be the second shift breakdown. And uh, welcome aboard. And we'll talk to you guys all later. All right. Well, hello. Oh, great. Uh, 15 countries. 15 countries. Amazing. They're made out of the U.S. Yeah, you guys really got a jump start. That's great. You know, um, to have Matt on board. What a great, great job. Yeah, and welcome, stuff. Matt. That's really but, happy to have you. Yeah, absolutely. What, uh, what? Who's in store next, though? And then I have Nicole. Okay. Nicole is also over there. So let's uh, let's talk a little bit with Nicole here. Hi guys. Now I'm here with Nicole from the shop. Same location. We're in a parts room. Um, Nicole is relatively new to Watson Town Trucking, so I wanted to get, take the opportunity for everybody to kind of learn a little bit about her. Uh, Nicole, why don't you tell us where you're from? What brought you here? How long have you been here? I'm from Fenno, New York. Um, I've lived there my whole life. I just moved here eight months ago. Um, I used to work in special needs my whole life, and when I moved here, I decided to go a different route, and I've been working here now since October, so it's been about six months. Great, great. So 
how do you feel things go here? I mean, obviously a couple months being here, but how are, do you feel that things are going? Do you see anything that maybe could be improved with uh, either what happens here or out on the road to make everybody's job easier? Um, we're constantly changing things and trying to make communication the best we can, but I think that's the element that we struggle in the most. Um, we want to be as helpful as we can with the drivers on the road, taking phone calls, you know, having your information as readily as possible helps us get onto the next calls. Um, but yeah, just really communication, having your issue as open and clear as, as it can be so we can help assist you the best we can. Awesome. And uh, how about something you like to do in your personal time away from work? Uh, my spare time, I actually breed reptiles. I have a bunch of different pets at home. Um, me and my fiance go fishing a lot. We love being out in nature, go hiking, anything outdoors, really. Wonderful. And as everybody can hear, the New York accent on her. So, yeah. uh, well, <laughs> thanks, everybody. Be safe out there. And this is uh, Brandon and Nicole from the shop. We'll yeah. talk to you later. Wow, what a great interview that was. It really was. Yeah, yeah the gold. Gold. that strong accent there. And Staten Island all the way there. So and the reptiles. You know, wow. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's different. But hey, but didn't see that coming. Didn't see it. But, but hey, uh, great, great. Uh, again, thanks, Nicole, Matt, joining our team. You know, it's nice to see young talent coming in the doors here and making a true impact. And, you know, there's so many, you know, we talk about one shipment has to get delivered, but how many parts to make that happen? And yeah, it's all an impact on success story, right? right? You know, that would have been. So again, yeah. thanks Nicole, Matt, um, for uh, and thank you for. Oh, listen, absolutely, I love it. I love it. I love so it. So as we uh, move forward, right? Uh, guess what time it is? It is the, the weekly, weekly update. update. Yeah, this is a great time. I love it. You know, it's good information to get out. Right. So where are we at? Um, well, and again, like I said, it's great information, and I'm, I'm happy to be able to continue this report that we have another accident-free and injury-free week. Oh wow. Um, now, you know, and, and I know that I keep saying this, and I, I wanted to put things in perspective mm -hmm. for people, because they say that we had a whole week incident-free, accident-free, but how much is that? Right. You know, and so, so I, I broke it down, and last week, we traveled 543,000 miles. 543. 543. Now, to go a little more in detail with that, yeah. that's 22 times around the globe. 22. 22, 22 full circles around the globe, accident-free, as a company we traveled. I, I can't yeah, say you enough. can't put it. You can't, put you can't say right nothing about, that. about about that accomplishment. That, that, you know, it's a phenomenal. It's great right. stuff. And so uh, you know, I just congratulate. Yeah, the world's a big place. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the biggest place on earth. <laughs> there you go. So, so yeah, we break it down pretty uh, simple here. At the yeah, TV show, yeah, right, right. right. Uh, but uh, then we have a class this week of three new drivers. Okay. Uh, so you know, we, we spread them out around a little bit more this week. Uh, we have Dennis from Virginia, Tyrone from PA, okay. and uh, Sean from Connecticut. All right, well, so welcome, welcome aboard, aboard, all three. Absolutely. They're going to make an immediate impact. And again, we wow. always say, if you see them around, welcome, welcome out, welcome aboard. Uh, you know, we got a great team here. You yeah, know, uh, and we want to continue to grow. It. So, you know, you, you know somebody, like I said, we repeat this every week, but we want to keep growing. So yeah. tell your friends, your family, everybody about it, anybody that's you know, capable of driving and has the qualifications to do it, reach out to Tony, myself, or go to the website, wattstowntrucking.com, fill out an app, we'll get things from. Yeah, we got a position for most everybody, right? Well, exactly. Definitely, we're still trying to fill that flatbed. Oh yeah, you know, flatbed. We're still we're still looking for more guys there. So I mean, we're rolling with it and it's growing. Right. So the more guys we can get interested, the grow. Absolutely. We can make and it, don't yeah. ever forget, you get earn a little bit of money the and time off, right? For yeah. sure, for sure. So, so yeah, um, and then just to wrap up the week left, it would be the uh, construction that was sent out about uh, over Coney. Oh, go my go hometown, go Bloomsburg. Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, more known, I guess, for the university. But, uh, you know, yeah, I'll touch on the, the uh, traffic up there. So, Con Air is really what it affects. Right. They, they have you winding around through the park, down by the river, and up around. They got red lights and new red lights. So, traffic patterns. So, just be cautious. Follow the signs. You sent out some updates some there. Over, yeah. So, yeah, it's affecting you trying to get to Con Air or trying to go down to the Coal Regional 47 there. So, again, uh, if you have any questions, you know who to reach out to. So uh, we can help you guide you through there. So, so I guess uh, I guess we say that's the wrap. That's the wrap for the week. Boy, another exciting week. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Yeah. Thank so you, you know, as we wrap up the weekly update, we last week we talked about um, health insurance. So um, you know, we thought let's build on that. Let's get some more information. Like we got a lot of great feedback from what you know we presented last week. But we thought, why don't we go right to the, the source and then talk to Lynn. Yeah, yeah, I got brought so, in, had a little interview. Yeah, just earlier this week, we went and 
we sat down with Lynn and, and discussed insurance. So here's that interview. Yeah. Well, good afternoon, Lynn. Thank you for joining us on set uh, on this Tuesday afternoon. Uh, joining us on the CB show. Um, Thank you for having me. Hey, before we get started, though, Lynn is the first in-house oh. guest of the studio. So that's, that's a special awesome. honor. That is. Man. I mean, hey, you should Thank feel you so privileged to be here. Yeah, it's yeah. taken us four or five episodes to have <laughs> so our first guest. Somebody come in, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if that's awesome. a good thing, Lynn, but uh, welcome, uh, welcome in, right? Uh, it's a l nice studio, though, right? It is. <laughs> <laughs> good setup. But uh, anyway, so, you know, we're here to talk insurance, of course. But uh, but before we do, let's talk about, um, you know, you. Uh, okay. You know, and a little bit about you and how you got here and got in this role and your passion for insurance just sure. give us a little update well i thank you again for having me mm -hmm. it's an honor Absolutely. to be the first in yeah. studio right guest on. it's uh, but yeah i i joined the team back in the fall um after 23 years in banking and finance world okay. just looking for something different um was getting interested in insurances kind of had dabbled in, in looking at some classes and things like that mm -hmm. and the opportunity came up with through the uh, temp agency that I got in here and then this opportunity opened up in-house and I became full-time Watson Town family. Oh so. wow that's a great story. Uh, married? Married. My husband Matt um, actually will be celebrating 20 years this oh, wow. fall. Oh, so um, thank you and we've got two boys. Uh, Brett is 17 and Ryan is 12. Um, oh, big shout out to them, right? Yeah. I'm sure they're watching. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little different than banking. Huh? Right. Your little insurance bit. day to day is a little different it day, is. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Different challenge every day. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's, you know, again, we're talking insurance here, but, and this year, you know, you, you stepped in and we had changed, really kind of changed our mythology on insurance this year. We went to a, to a GPA um, program and really in the, back of, the, of that is called reference-based pricing and so it's a little different than your blue cross blue shields of the world but uh, it certainly can be successful so yeah. you know stay in tune with that what do you see as the biggest benefit of the plan uh, well as you said it's reference-based pricing mm. so biggest benefit is that cost savings right um, right back in your pocket um, it is a new concept somewhat but think about you know if you're putting an addition on your house mm -hmm. you're buying a car you're not just walking up to the first guy, hey, hey, do the job, don't ask price, right. go buy the car, don't negotiate. You know, those are, are things we do in our everyday lives. Why not put that concept back into healthcare? Um, you know, it's the most important thing we can right. have yeah, is our health. Sure. Um, so we should be getting a fair price for it. And yep. that's the concept that GPA brings mm -hmm. to the table is they do go out and shop and compare those prices and say, hey, what's fair to be paying for this? And that's what they do then. They take on that role of negotiating those prices mm -hmm. and fighting for you to save you that money. Now, um, with, with all the benefits there you're explaining and how to save money and all the great perks there, there everything comes with challenges. Sure. Mm -hmm. It has to. So what, what would you say is the biggest challenge of dealing with this type of insurance? Because it is a new concept, I, I think the process. Just, I don't know, it was somewhat I think a last minute um, change so there wasn't necessarily a lot of education and training right. on the process so as with any change you know there's going to be hiccups and yep. challenges the first right. year um, we're learning right along with you as we face those challenges right. but we're, we're working through them um, so understanding that process is probably the biggest key yeah you know last week I, I made reference that UPMC had left the network sure. and that may be true but the reality is they still do provide service within it. So I was kind of misspoke there uh, with that. But what we do see is some pushback on some of the some of the doctors and and definitely at the hospital level. And really, what the pushback is because of the reference based pricing, they they want to they want to charge a higher price than what yeah. GPA or ELAP has negotiated. So that's where some of the pushback does come. And again, I think it's key what you said there. We're shopping. Um, the market and you're getting the best care at the lowest price and so it's a great concept it has been very successful so when we say the process you know what is the process for the team members out there right. you know uh, from you know from the time that they try to get, seek help to, to they get their invoice and, and so forth so yeah I mean initially the, the start of that process is you have a need to go to the physician mm -hmm. so you're finding your provider 
free to use your own provider that you've always used for the last 20 years. Um, they just have to be willing to bill the insurance. Right. Um, so that's step one, of course. If you have any pushback or challenges there, as Chris mentioned last week on the CB show and the video explained, uh, you know, reach out to member services. That 800 number is on the back of your insurance cards. Um, they will help you get something set up with your provider. Most of the time it comes down to just knowing the process mm. for their billing department and what mm -hmm. they need to do or getting you set up uh, with a virtual payment card so that they can take care of any out-of-pocket costs right up front. Right. Um, second thing is once you go to the visit, then you'll get your explanation of benefits from the insurance company. That's where they've gone out, done their review, done their audit of the bill, made sure all the charges were valid. Um, you'll get a bill at some time from the provider or the hospital. Uh, hopefully, in the ideal world, those two amounts match right. and agree. Um, if they do, perfect world, then you are free to pay that bill. Right. <laughs> um, still, if something doesn't feel right, though, question it. Because if it would be a bill for your routine annual physical, you should not be getting a bill for That's that. Right. That is something that is free and always has been. Um, preventative care. So... Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, if there's any difference in those amounts from the explanation of benefits or, or the bill, I want to know that. Uh, that's the point that we get that sent into ELAP. Um, they'll have contact numbers for ELAP as well that we'll show here at the end. Um, they'll need to remember them. All you need to remember is my contact right. information. So when in doubt, reach out. Just send it to me, and I'll take care of it. So then, with everything wrapped up all together, uh, what would you? I mean, what advice would you have with all the challenges and the and, and scary difference of you know the unknowns? What advice yeah. would you have for the to make it all smooth and most comfortable for all of our employees? There are no stupid questions. Oh, right. So if you have any question from understanding the process to I got the bills, but I don't even know what is my responsibility to pay. Give me a shout. Shoot me an email. Leave me, a, you know, give me a phone call. All my contact information is on the screen as well. Yep. So I am here to help. That is my full-time role with the company, and that's what I'm here for. So no stupid question. When in doubt, just reach out. Wonderful. Right. And, you know, you, you have said you have a passion for insurance and this healthcare, uh, you know, hits home with you. You got your, your husband is going through a rough time right now yeah. um but you understand you, you've kind of learned from both sides what, what's going on <laughs> and you see you know even on our side some some of these outrageous charges that the, the, some of the hospitals yeah. and providers are charging and yep. and how elap is working behind the scenes to really reduce the cost for everybody and, and right. you know us as team members it's so important and really again it's about putting the the the, the experience into the Team members' hands with the it help insurance. It puts that transparency back yep. in the billing. You're seeing what the fair charges are and what you rightfully should be paying. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the health industry is is a business. They're out to make money as well, mm -hmm. um, but it shouldn't come at the expense of your health care. Right. So the important thing is we all have the same goal, and we want to keep that money in your pocket. Absolutely. So, you know, as we wrap it up, uh, we talked health insurance two weeks in a row. We've been kind of talk. We love the fact that you came down to, uh, to set today and then joined us here again, like we say, as our first guest. First guest uh, so, um, again, you know, anybody to, to wrap this up, really, they'd reach out to you. You know, uh, I like how you said reach it. When in doubt, reach when out. When in doubt, reach out. There you <laughs> go. So, that makes it pretty nice, simple for us. Motto to yeah. remember. So, so yeah, when in doubt, reach out. Well, again, thank you for joining yes. us. Thanks thank for you, having me. So, boy, that was a great interview with Lynn. Really? You know, yeah. A lot of information. Again, the health insurance is complex. Uh, you know, and Lynn's really done a great job. I actually was on another call this week uh, with GPA and ELAP. And, you know, really, Lynn has taken a strong hold. Yeah, so, so, Lynn, thanks for everything. Yeah. I don't want to dig it in and find If anybody's got any questions, please direct them, Lynn. She's, she's, she's a bulldog. She'll get, get those answers for you. Definitely. Um, I guess, you know, now we got to say, Congrats to our sponsors, right? We yeah. Just, you know, look, we got new stuff up here. They had no idea when they decided to sponsor yeah. us that we were going to explode like yeah, this. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, we're on, not, again, like you mentioned, you mentioned before, YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, right. So, like us, follow us. Yeah, um, that's, you know, one thing we've got to say lately is give us a thumbs up. Thumbs you know, up. That means a lot to us, here, right? Get the comments down. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep going. We'll try to uh, get information out to you guys and keep you in With all seriousness, Pat and Logistics Group, Pat and Warehousing, Pat and, you know, Logistics, great, great to have them on board as a sponsor. And, they, you know, really, um, yeah, as we grow as a family of companies, you right. know, just awesome. So, um, you know.
you know, I guess we'll say that's in. That's it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up for this Have week. Have a great weekend. Yep. Be safe. Get home to your families. Enjoy family time. They're there you all, go. All their homes. So we'll Thanks. see you next week. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week.